Hello and welcome everyone. This is the second part of our three-part series, so make sure you check out the first part. However, you can watch this one as a standalone if you're just here to see how I paint the wings on my own raster model. Now, full disclosure, we're gonna start off with painting some other stuff than the wing, so you should probably skip to later in the episode if you're just here for the wings. Now, as you might have noticed, I got a bit of ahead of myself from the previous guide and painted the half of the weapon as well as some of the black parts of the model. However, it's a real simple technique. You basically just splash on contrast paint in a preferred color. I used Black Templar and Wallopus Pink. I assume you guys are able to figure out which goes where. Now, it feels like I say this every time I paint with contrast, but what you wanna do is put slightly too much paint on the brush, move the blob of paint around on the surface you want the contrast to paint, and then you remove any excess with a clean brush. You will probably have to do two layers for the black to make it really dark and opaque. And when using this technique with contrast, make sure you don't move around the paint when it's like half dried, because that's a real easy way to ruin all your work. Next up we're going to paint the face. Start out with rugged flesh, preferably a bit thinned down so you can get it into all the crevices and around the eyes etc. Then we're going to shade the face with caribou crimson and make sure you get the caribou into all the nooks and crannies of the face around the eyes and below the hair etc. Then we're going to highlight with thinned down Kisla flesh. Give it a shade of Reichland. Highlight it back to Kisler Flesh. And then give it a final highlight of Flayed One Flesh. You want to highlight almost as you would do non-metallic metal. I will leave a link to an episode below where I talk more about how I do my pale skin tone. And now for a really hard part, the eyes. What you want to do is to paint the entire eye socket with Black Templar. Make sure you paint a bit outside the eye, so you sort of frame the eye with Black Templar. You want to paint with grey here to paint the white of the eye, and then do a vertical line through the eye with Black Templar. You can also add a tiny, tiny dot inside that black line of pure white to represent a sunspot in the eye. Next up we're going to paint the hair. Start out by painting the hair grey here, And then use apothecary white to shade it. Or well, contrast it I guess. And then we're going to highlight it up to pure white. Make sure only to pick out separate strands of hair when painting with the white. Now for the runes. Uh, we want to make a sort of glowy uh, source light effect here. So Start out with like super thin down white and paint the light source. This is, well, it might take a bit of a practice to get this one right, but what you want to do is to add really, really, really thin down white to where the light is in several layers, making it th thicker where the light is supposed to be the brightest. Then we're going to use Thalassar Blue to shade the runes. And what you want to do is use contrast medium here to thin down the Thalassar blue, so you only give it a hint of blue rather than it just becoming blue. I would also recommend going back and forth a bit with the Thalassar and the thin down white to make the rune in the center being almost pure white and then becoming more and more blue the further towards the edge you go. For the scroll thingy at their waist we're gonna keep it simple, just paint it with Dracar Flesh. Shade it with Agrax Earthshade, making sure that the shade goes into all the runes. And then we're gonna highlight it with Wraithbone. And that's the main body of the model all done. And finally, onto the wings. We're gonna paint one feather at a time, and this is mainly because we're gonna move the paint around a lot. 
Cover the entire feather in one smooth layer of Drakenhof Nightshade. Then clean your brush and start moving the paint around. What we aim to do here is making the paints a bit thicker towards the lower part of the feather and almost fully transparent at the inner part of the feather. You can also add some more Drakenhof to the model as you're moving it around if you're unhappy with the final result. The reason why I paint only like every second feather is so I can have more control on the paint. Having wet paint next to each other makes them pool into each other and that can leave you with some real bad end results. For the smaller feathers on top we're just gonna do one coat of uh, Drakenhof Nightshade while we wait for the bigger feathers to dry. Then we paint the rest of the bigger feathers the same way as we did before. We're gonna add a tiny amount of Drakenhof Nightshade to the tip of each of the feathers to enhance the effect of the feather becoming dark and darker towards the tips. And finally add really thinned out Drakenhof Nightshade. I use Lamian Medium to thin it out this time around but you could probably use water for this. The reason why we thin it down is because we want these feathers a bit brighter than the upper feathers and the long feathers. <laughs> and uh, just as a reminder, each wing has two sides. And now we're gonna start working with Grazier. What you wanna do is line each of the feathers at the very tip where the Drakenhof is the darkest. And then we're gonna start using Grazier again to paint the fibers in the wings. Now, what you want to do here is make sure that the Grazier is a bit thinned down so it's a tiny bit transparent. And then doing loads of lines on the feathers to simulate the effect of the sort of feather fibers or hairs or whatever you want to call them. And finally, we're gonna give the middle section of the wing and the upper section of the wing a dry brush with pure Corax White. And that's part two out of three for my Indrasta guide. I hope you all liked it. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll drop you all a link below to the other parts of the guide. Part three should be dropping in about a week or so after this one. See you all next time.